what's up and today we are going to be doing a video on roblox studio for once right here this video is on roblox studio i, I think i already said that oops um so today we're going to i'm going to show you how to make custom animations for your Roblox Studio game. Um, I am going to be using the Sonic Run animation for the, um, for the, uh, just for an example for this, for today. Um, if you, uh, and this is, and I'm going to use the walk animation. Um, Anyways, let's start. So, uh, you want to go to plugins, uh, build rig, R6. You want to do R6, and then block rig. You should get this block, block rig thingy, thingy right here. You see it? Um, it's really easy to to animate this. If you want to do R15 you can, but it's harder. If if you did if you do choose the the R6 dummy, um then you wanna go to then you're gonna want to go to game settings, avatar and R6. Make sure animation is not standard. Make sure animation is player choice. Just saying. Whenever you're done changing those settings, click save. So you see this dummy right here? Go back to plugins and choose um, animation editor. Top. And then it'll come up with this window that says select a rig to animate. Click it. And then name your clip. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it Sonic. Yes, it's the Sonic Run. All right, so then this grid will pop up. The, and that doesn't really matter, but it's just a grid for, for the thing. Um, this is what you want to want. Want so so since I'm doing a Sonic animation, I'm gonna want to choose this blue thing and drag it up like this. So he'll be running with his arms behind his back. That's, that's how Sonic runs, um, or at least how modern Sonic runs. So you're gonna wanna put, so you're gonna wanna design your animation. So how I'm doing this is a Sonic. So like, if I'm gonna use this Sonic running, um, oops. Now, if you're wanting to make the next keyframe, drag the or the next frame, drag this to. I um since mine is gonna go kind of fast, I'm gonna drag this over here to about right here. Now you can make it as long as you want, so you can make him go like run really slowly. I'm gonna make him run really fastly. I don't even think that's a word. Anyway, so on your next keyframe, drag your, drag on, um, drag where you want it to go next. Now it automatically smoothens it out. Um, so you do not have to, um, So you don't have to uh, smooth it out for, for yourself. And then, then so look at this. Um, maybe I'll take this and move it. You can also move 
the thing, so let me see that. Ooh. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. And then you make this keyframe. Like this. And then you're gonna wanna make the other the other side, so that. Now I'm gonna have the other make this go in front. Oh my gosh! Did not mean to do that. Then you wanna you're gonna wanna click this button here, which loops it, and press play. He runs. Alright. When you're done, click the three buttons. Then click um, export. Uh, Andy new. This one's going to be called YouTube, YouTube Test Sonic. Um, let me press, let me press, okay. Now you can close out of the animation editor and you can um, delete your dump. Now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to you're gonna want to go to um, you're gonna want to go to your Google thing or go to Roblox, go to your inventory, go to avatar. No, go to animations you should see test sonic and i don't know why it thinks it's a test for that just like youtube test sonic click it and then copy this four seven eight three four two 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 four seven now yours might be different but you you want these you want the number the number id up here between library and 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 um, your name and then the name of your creation. Copy it. Go back into your Roblox Studio. Go into Starter Player. Uh, starter Character Script. Right click it. And go to insert object script. Now go inside your script, and then instead of print hello world, you're going to um, we're going to uh, type in um, uh, script dot parent. And make sure it's uppercase like it. If it's not uppercase, it has to be like uppercase like mine is. If it's not uppercase and it's all lowercase or it's all uppercase, it will not work. So, so script parrot. And then we want to animate. So that's telling it that its parent is, this script's parent is animate. And then, then you're gonna dot whatever the, your animation in is going to replace, which is minus walk doc dot, dot walk walk and in walk and in dot um, animation ID. Equals 
parentheses, um, uh, quotation marks, or you can say quotes and say quotation marks, and then you do R B X asset I D colon slash slash, and then paste your and then paste your number. Or paste your ID. Press and and then and then um, you're gonna wanna play. And let's see our result. Look at that. You get your own Roblox walking animation. Um, and then if you wanted to re replace it for the for, for the falling animation, you change walk, you change both walks to fall. And then you paste your fall thing um, in your thing. Um, up there, I think. Maybe. And then by ro, ro, RBX stands for Roblox. So it's just Roblox asset. I, and that's, uh, that is how you make your own custom animations for Roblox. Goodbye.